Hello everyone, I'm back with another tutorial and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to install iPhone 16 Pro Max, uh, the latest version of that, with the latest version of iOS installed on this on your uh, MacBook Pro, whether you, you are you are an iOS developer or you're a, a Flutter or whatsoever, you're an app developer, you're a web developer, no difference, you need the iPhone 16 Pro Max installed on your Mac and you want to launch it from uh, the menu. Now let's get started for, uh, and installing the iPhone 16 Pro Max or iPad, no different. It's, uh, you can install both of them and you can install even more the Apple TV and lots of other stuff. The first step, uh, you need to install the Xcode. Obviously, if you're an app developer, you have it on your Mac. Uh, but if you don't have it, uh, go ahead to the App Store and let me show it to you. You need to get to the App Store and uh, search for Xcode. Search for Xcode and install the latest version of Xcode on your Mac. I already have this. If you're, uh, you already have it, make sure to update it to the latest version. It can take some time because the, as you can see the size, uh, it's almost three gigabyte to get downloaded and be patient. After the Xcode is get installed, uh, you need to open that. Uh, when you uh, open the Xcode, it, get, it can take some time to get loaded and it get opened. And now the Xcode is opened in my Mac and, and the, your Xcode is going to be empty. The right side is going to be empty and nothing is going to be out here. But the left side is going to be the same. You need to click over here, somewhere over here on Xcode. And from the top menu, as you can see, there is a menu over here. Click on Window and click on uh, devices and simulators over here and then here is the real devices which connected to your device which connected to your mac and here is the simulator which are uh, interested in currently i have two simulators over here installed uh, as you get installed the xcode the uh, simulators for you maybe there are lots of over here from iphone x to iphone 16 pro max is already get installed and you can launch them and i'm going to show you how to launch them but in a case that there is nothing over here or you can't see the iphone 16 pro max over here you need to do something you need to update uh click over here the plus sign and you need to uh choose the device type over here as you can see i have the iphone 16 iphone 16 pro max the latest version of every device that apple have uh, if you can't see the the iphone 16 over here or iphone 15 uh, you need to uh, uh you have to have the latest uh, ios version over here if you're not 18 you have to download more simulator runtime from over here it's something exactly like this is going to be show up you need to download this one, iOS 18, from here. You need to download that, this one. And if you have uh, any uh, older version of that, it's going to be shown here. But you need to download this one, and the size is kind of big, and it can take some time. And uh, for most, most of you guys, you have to download it. It can take some time. It's almost 9 gigabytes. And after that, just simply uh, close this, and close this, and close everything. Close Xcode, and try to relaunch that. Now you have to again get to the window and uh, device and simulators and you get to see the simulator. Now click at the plus and you're going to see the iOS 18 is over here. And uh, after that, you're going to have the iPhone uh, 16, 16 Pro Max, everything else over here. In, for example, I'm going to uh, install, uh, I already have iPad Air, I'm going to install iPad Pro 13 inch M4, which is the most powerful one and I'm going to click at create. It's going to create it and it's going to be shown over here. Now, the question here is that how to launch my simulator. If you're an app developer, you can launch it from your Xcode projects or your Flutter developer, you can launch it from out there from the VS Code or Android Studio, whatever you're uh, using. I'm talking to the guys who want to launch it, uh, whether they are normal users that want the uh, iOS simulator on their Mac or you're a web developer to want to launch it and use the uh, Safari or whatsoever in the simulator to get use of them. And for you guys, at the first step, you need to do something. And now it's time that I show you how to launch your simulators and put this over here. I already have this from here that I can uh, launch my simulator easily from here, which is going to get launched on my device. 
and I'm going to delete this from here. I'm going to quit and I'm going to options. I, I can see the remove from documents over here. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, my main, uh, the here is the same as yours. And I don't know how to launch the simulator once again. And for you guys, how to launch the simulator, by the way. If you search under your applications uh, for simulators, you can't find that. For the first time, you need to use a, a terminal over here. Just open the application uh, terminal from your uh, Mac. It's obviously out there and you have to launch a command over here. It's just for this first time. The next time we're going to put the, uh, app, uh, the simulator over here. From here, just uh, you type open, open space and dash A space uh, simulator, simulator. Uh, make sure that, that the S is capital and other uh, alphabet is small. After launching this command, the simulator is going to get launched and you can see it at the recent part of the doc. Uh, after that, drag it to your uh, main menu. From now on, you're going to have it right over here. Even after closing this or after quitting, it's going to be over here. You can launch it simply from here and no terminal is going to get needed. Now the iPad is get launched. Now how can I uh, launch other devices? Just simply double tap, tap uh, with two fingers on that. And from devices, all the devices that you want uh, is are here. For example, I want, want iPhone 16 from Max and I can simply run that from here. For the first time, uh, it can take some time for the simulator to get boot up because uh, as you turn the iPhone for the first time, it's gonna take some time. It's because of that. And I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you very much for watching this. Goodbye.